we have built an indoor location tracker that can accurately track my location anywhere inside this room. Let me show you. So here is the tracker in my hand and as I walk backward, you can see that my location is getting updated in real time. Now I should be somewhere near the sofa. In fact, let me go all the way back over here and you should be able to see my location getting updated in the real time. Now, if I walk across this room and go to the other end, you can see that the red dot moves along following my location. So I can just take this tracker with me and walk anywhere inside this room and you should be able to see that my location is getting updated in real time. This can be very useful in huge warehouses where you want to track a person or a particular asset like a machine, robot or even a drone that's moving within a confined environment. In this video, I'll show you how exactly you can build this using the core OUWB3000 module and the ESP32. I'll show you the complete schematics and also the circuit diagram so that you can build it on your own. Let's get started. Subscribe to Circuit Digest for more such videos and interesting DIY projects. Okay, so let's start from the basics. The main module in focus here is the Corvo DWM 3000 UWB module, which is over here. So this was the anchor that I was holding in my hand. As you can see, we have the board from Corvo and the main module in focus is this one, which is the DWM 3000. Now this module actually has the IC DW3110, but Corvo has packaged it into a nice module along with an OmniDirect directional antenna that you can see here and other RF circuitry and even the power management circuitry is inbuilt so that it's really easy for us to use it with any microcontroller. Further, we have purchased it in this shield form factor so that we don't have to deal with SMDs and we can use these jumper boards to connect it to any microcontroller in our case, the ESP32. So these are the pinouts for our DWM3000 module. And as you can see, the actual module is on the shield and it is connected to our ESP32 development board. So few other important specifications that you should know about this module is given over here. So the first thing is the DWM3000 can operate in two bands, which is channel 5 at 6.5 gigahertz and channel 9 at 8 gigahertz. And it has a really high accuracy, which is about 10 centimeter. And every UWB module supports different ranging modes. We'll get to that later. But in this case, that module supports TWR, which is two-way ranging, and also TDOA, which is time difference of arrival. And then it supports different data rates. And moving on for communication, we have SPI running at 38 megahertz clock speed. It supports low power modes. And we also have antenna delay calibration, which we'll talk about soon. And then it comes in a really small form factor, which is perfect for wearable robots and IoT. So now to connect it to our ESP32, the hardware connection is very simple. We have just connected the wires be behind. So we are going to connect it to the SPA lines of ESP32 and also going to power it with our ESP32 3.3 volt. So as you can see over here, you have the SPA lines mentioned over here, SPA clock, MISO, MOSI and chip select. And you also have the ground and the power pins over here, which you can use to power this module. So according to connections, you can just make them and it is really simple and straightforward. Okay, so now we know the basics, but how does it work? How am I able to use this module to measure the location inside the room? The answer is we can't just use one module to work with UWB. You at least need a couple of them so that you're able to send a message to the other module. In this case, whatever module is being moved around is called the tag and whatever module is fixed is called the anchor. So the tag will send a message and the anchor will respond back and using the time of flight calculation, we'll be able to figure out what is the distance of the tag from the anchor. Now the advantage of UWB is it's very low power and it can give you a precision of less than 10 centimeter. In our case, what we have done is we have not used one but a total of four modules and as you can see all four of them are very identical. It is the exact same hardware. The only thing that changes is the firmware that we have flashed into the ESP32 board. So in this case, this module which I was carrying around is called the tag and the other modules which are placed here is called the anchor. So what we do is we measure the distance of the tag from each anchor and we'll get three separate values and using a technique called trilateration we'll exactly figure out the position of this module. 
So now let's get a bit deeper and understand what kind of communication is taking place between the tag and our anchors. To do that, we have to take a look at our ranging modes again. So ranging mode is a technique which the UWB modules use to communicate with the anchor. And there are different types of ranging techniques. The one that is allowed in this module here is two-way ranging, which is TWR. And the other one is time difference of arrival, which is TDOA. Since we are going to do only a 2D tracking, meaning we are not going to calculate the direction in which the tag is facing or the height, we will be using only two-way ranging in this project. To understand more about two-way ranging, let's take a look at this sheet. Let's start from here. So we have two devices. One is the tag and the other one is the anchor. Now what happens is the tag sends a message called the pole message. And then after a specific duration of T reply, the anchor responds back along with the duration of T reply to the tag. So the total time taken for the message to go to the anchor and come back is called the T loop. And now just like how an ultrasonic sensor works, we'll be able to measure the time it took for the signal to go to the anchor and come back and calculate the TOF, which stands for time of flight. But one problem here is that since you're working with very fast timing signals in terms of nanosecond, even a slight clock difference between these two modules would result in a lot of error. So what we're gonna do is this technique is called two-way ranging, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow something called DS two-way ranging, which stands for double-sided two-way ranging. So again, we have a tag and we have an anchor. But here what happens is once the pole message is sent after a specific duration, along with the response, it's going to make it as a pole message. Then on the tag side also, we're going to give a small uh, delay and then the response message comes back. So in this case, we have two T loop and two T reply one and a T reply two. So with these values, we'll be able to calculate the time of flight using this formula and then multiplying it with speed of light, we'll be able to calculate the distance. The advantage of double-sided two-way ranging is that it's more accurate and it is more reliable. Even though if there is slight clock difference between your UWB modules, you don't have to worry about that. In our case, what we have actually done is, so this is the demo which we showed to you earlier. So this red dot over here is the tag and these three triangles that you see here is the anchor. So when we were showing the demo, we had one anchor installed on one side of the room and on the other end, we had two more anchors installed on either side of the room. So the position of the anchors is shown over here and this red dot is the tag which was moving around inside the room. So like I told you earlier, we'll be measuring the time of flight between the tag and each of the anchors and we'll get three different values and using trilateration, we are going to write a simple Python script to calculate the exact position of our tag. So how that works is, let's say the TOF calculated from each anchor over here is D1, D2, D3. You can assume that we are using this as a radius and drawing a circle. You can see three circles drawn over here. So this is one, two, one, three. And the point where all these three circles intersect is the exact position of the tag. So this technique is called trilateration. And this is what we're going to use to calculate the exact position of our tag. So for this system to work, you should pre-calculate the position of each anchor. So in our case, we consider this corner of the room as 0, 0, and then the position of each anchor was physically measured and then feed it into the code so that we can show this nice demonstration. So for example, if you're installing an anchor over here, it would be like uh, maybe 90 centimeter from the corner of this wall and maybe 5 centimeter forward from this edge of the wall. So you have to physically measure the distance of each of the anchor and then we'll be hard coding it in the code which I will show you later. So now we know how the entire thing works and the hardware is also ready. It's pretty simple. We are just using SPA communication between ESP32 and our Corvo module over here. So now let's get over to the computer so that I can show you the entire firmware and how we have put it together. So like always, the complete documentation for this project along with the circuit diagram, code, the working explanation, different comparison of other UWB modules, everything that you would possibly want to know can be found on our website, which I'm showing you over here. The link for that will be in the description. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom after some code explanation, you will find the link to the GitHub repository. 
So just click on this and download the complete files. It will have your Arduino code as well as the Python script, which I will show you very quickly. So I have already downloaded it and these are the files that you will find. So we have three programs altogether. One is for your tag which you will be holding in your hand. The other three anchors will have a different program. So two Arduino codes, one for your tag and the other for your different anchor. And you will also have one Python script. So your tag will calculate this information and send it to a Python script so that it knows uh, the exact uh, distance between the anchors, all three anchors and your tag. And you can use trilateration to figure out the exact spot and it will plot it into a neat visual layout so you can check how accurate your uwb uh, location tracking is working so back to this downloaded github repo you can see that we have python script you can skip the tcp socket that's not needed so this floor view.py is the script which we need on the python side but before we do that let's get back to our uwb or you know here you can see main anchor and main tag so let's start with the tag code so this is the tag code over here uh, as i told you it's going to send information to your local host laptop so would need to connect to wi-fi so give your ssid and password over here and you would also have to enter the ip address of your laptop if you don't know how to find the ip address you can just open the terminal app and the search for if config sorry enter if config and then you will find something called en0 and under that you will find inet and this would be your ip address so similarly you can find your own ip address and enter it over here so mine is as such and then the port is 7007 you can leave it as such so apart from that there is not much you have to change on the tag side everything else would remain the same now going back to your anchor code you would have to pay attention to one line which is the anchor id so you'll be flashing the same code to all the three or how much ever anchor modules you decide to go with but just change the anchor id so for the first anchor it will be one for the second one it will be two and the third one will be three so yeah just change the anchor id and flash the code into your respective esp32 and that's pretty much all that you have to look on the anchor side there's one more thing which you might want to take a look at which is antenna delay calibration so if you're using the exact same module you don't have to worry about it but for different modules there will be uh, different antenna delay in our code over here you can see that the antenna delay is entered as 16350 if you're using the exact same module you can leave it as such but if you're using a different uwb module you might want to google antenna delay calibration so it's basically you will do it with two modules and you will figure out the actual distance between the two modules and the measured distance and then you will introduce a small antenna delay inside your code so that your readings are much more accurate so uh, for if you're using the same one you can leave it as such just change the anchor ID for each of the modules and upload the code. Now, the third program that we should look at is the Python code. So what we are basically doing is we are going to get uh, the distance between uh, the tag and each anchor and send it to a Python script, So which is shown over here. So again, here you should enter the same IP address, which we found earlier. The port will remain same, 7007. And then we have anchor positions. So like I told you earlier, you have to manually measure the position of each anchor in the room. So in our project, like I told you, we have three anchors anchors and each anchor is so this is 0 comma 0 so the first anchor is 15 centimeter and 5 centimeters so 15 centimeter on x and 5 centimeter on y axis the second anchor is 290 centimeter and 5 centimeter on y axis and the third anchor is 165 centimeter on x axis and 625 centimeter from 0 comma 0 to 625 centimeter on y axis so you can place the anchor anywhere in the room and then you can uh, hard code these values into your python script now one more thing that you should see is we have also entered the total room width and the height in centimeters and then we also have an image file called floor plan which you can see over here so this is basically a top view of the room in which we are doing tracking if you have an iphone with a lidar sensor you can use any app there are so many third party apps which allows you to scan the room and create an image like this once the image is created you can just attach it to the python code like this 
and then there is nothing much you might want to change in the python code everything is as such so yeah so upload all these code to your anchors and the tag code into your tag and run this python script and you should be able to see the position of the tag inside the row so that's it guys this is how you can use the dwm 3000 module along with esp32 to do indoor uh, location tracking hope you enjoyed watching the video and learned something useful if yes please do subscribe thanks for watching have a great day tata Bye-bye.